Kyoto, Japan. Like every morning I wake up and I go outside and I see things and I just forget that I'm in a completely different country. I see a lot of similarities from the United States to Japan from where I visited, from where I lived. The main difference that separates the United States from every other country is that there's in America, there's so many different cultures that blend together to create these rules and regulations and laws and just way of life. But if you go to a country such as Japan, it's its own thing. So everybody kind of knows what's going on because they're all, you know, for the most part, Japanese. And then people that come in have to adjust to them, their culture, their rules, their laws. The United States is, is kind of like its own thing because of all these different cultures coming in and making all these rules and regulations and just way of life and culture. So you mix all these cultures together and you get the US. But for something like Japan, like I said, it's mostly Japanese. So you come here and you learn their rules and stuff. So that's really cool to think about. Thank you so much for watching part three of my Japan trip videos. I'm trying my hardest to put together the best videos from my Japan trip for you guys. As many of you may know, uh, my laptop or computer has been broken for a little bit now and I'm trying to get it fixed. And on that, I have a lot of pictures and videos from my Japan trip. So thank you so much for your patience. And I will continue to make videos for you. So I decided to make this video for you guys. I wanted to show you what did I bring home from Japan. So let's get started with that. So the first thing I got in Japan is actually something that I needed and that was useful and that was a wallet. You might be thinking, why do you need to buy a wallet? Well, in Japan, the money is actually a little bit bigger and the Japanese money didn't fit in my American wallet. And as you can see the size differential, this is my Japanese wallet, here is my American wallet. A little bit different in size. <laughs> and actually the Japanese money is a little bit bigger too. It was just a little bit different to notice that it didn't fit in my wallet. So that's why I actually bought a Japanese wallet. Along with the wallet, I did get something that was needed and that was this. My IC card. This card, if you don't know, is used for traveling in Japan. It was really helpful for me. Actually, you can use these at some of the vending machines too. And I thought that was pretty cool. So the first, first thing that I bought in Japan that was for myself is this. I 
I bought this t-shirt, I think literally the first day I was in Japan. I got it in Kyoto. I chose the color red and the black lettering, and when the guy put it on, I was like, oh yeah, that's pretty cool. So, I now have my own Just Brennan t-shirt. The next thing I got in Japan was actually on the same day that I got the t-shirt. And it's kind of under the same theme. That's right. I got chopsticks from Japan. You might be thinking, Brennan, they're just chopsticks. Even though it's kind of cool to get them from another country, they're just chopsticks. But oh no, there's something special about these chopsticks. I'm going to show you what's special about them. That's right, these chopsticks have my name on them. That's pretty cool. So, what you could say is, they go well with the shirt. The next thing that I got from Japan was from my trip to Universal Studio. Let me show you that now. That's right, I got a Minion Globe. I actually bought this at Universal Studios for my mother because she really, really likes Minions. Also, it spins and opens. There used to be cookies inside of here, but uh, they're all gone now. We ate them all. But she really liked the gift, and I thought it was pretty cool. And we'll have it forever. So, I really like this one too. Next item. The next item that I purchased in Japan are these Japanese candies. We see these all the time in the United States, but we only see them online, and we don't have them here. They're Japanese candies that you have to make yourself. You guys probably know what they are, but when I first saw them, I was like, oh man, that's really, really cool. I did make one of these before in a video with Yamakai TV on his channel a while ago. It was pretty fun, and it was really cool to do. I'm planning to make a video on making these kind of candies soon. So let me know if that's something you want to see. I also bought a bunch of bags of green tea matcha Kit Kats, but I ate them all. That's my favorite candy. So if you ever see me anywhere, please know my favorite candy from Japan is green tea matcha Kit Kats. Oh. Oish. Next items I got was from my trip to Tokyo Sky Tree. There's a video on my channel, so if you want to see that, please check it out. It was the Snoopy stamp game, a brochure in English, and this cool keychain. It was also recommended to me to try a lot of beauty products in Japan, and I know it'd be kind of weird because I'm a boy, but of course, boys have to be beautiful too. So, I got something that was recommended to me a lot, and uh, it was this Gatsby face wash. Uh, believe it or not, I did try it, and it actually does a pretty good job, so <laughs> it's recommended. What I, all I can say to that is, good job, Japan. Keep making your Gatsby facial wash, because it makes just Brennan's face nice and clean. The last thing I wanted to show you guys was some Japanese food, and of course, you guys know it. It's wasabi. In a lot of places in Japan that I went, they had wasabi, especially at conveyor belt sushi places, and it did taste a little bit different than the wasabi we have in America. We have a lot of different brands, but just the regular one that we always get here tasted just a little bit different than the one in Japan, so I was like, I have to pick one up. I can't compare which one's better. There's like a slight difference. I can't even really describe it, so maybe I'll figure it out when I have this and eat a little bit more, but not too much because that'd be way too spicy. So that was some of the items that I got from Japan. Let me know if you enjoyed that video in the comments below. Thank you everyone for watching. Chanjuru Toroku, onegashimasu, and remember, we are Ki.
Heat. 